Dylan, how is Luke doing right now? It appears that the surgery and everything was a success. Right now, he is getting some sleep after all of that. Until he has all his energy back, we are going to let him take it easy and sleep as long as he wants. Thank goodness. Really. Everly, thank you. Paying for that $30,000 surgery all by yourself like that? Also, for coming all the way to the hospital like that on foot. What are you saying, Dylan? Of course I would do all of that for you guys. Wait, what about your wife, Kylie? Uh, today she has work, so she won't be able to come here. But I made sure to tell her that the surgery was a success, and that Luke is doing alright. She seems to be really relieved to hear all of that. I can't believe she had to stay at work on a day like today, though. While her own son was having to go through such an important and life-saving surgery? It's a very important job to her. There was no way of talking her into coming here when she has all of that to do. And I forgot to ask, but how has work been going for you, Everly? Well, right now I'm working mostly remote, so there was no problem with me being around you guys during this event. How about you, Dylan? I'm assuming that since you were able to go to the hospital and be there during the surgery, you were able to take the day off from work? Actually, I ended up quitting my job. What? Dylan! I was causing all kinds of problems for people at work by taking so much time off. I would rather have all of the people at that company not worry about whether I'll be coming into work or not. So, I left. We won't be making as much money now as a family, but Kylie takes her job very seriously. So, there's no need to worry about income for a while. And you helping us pay for this surgery has helped us out the most. Thank you so much for doing that, Everly. Is that so? You have been going through a lot then. I'll make sure to pay you back that $30,000 someday. So, can you please just give me a little time to get it all together before I hand it back? I'm so sorry for making you wait, but at this moment, I don't have all of that money just yet. You don't have to be sorry about any of that right now. I don't mind being there to help you guys out, especially when someone in the family's life is on the line. Kylie is okay with me covering the costs, right? What do you mean by that? Well, it's just that Kylie doesn't really like me all too much, right? If she finds out that I'm the one who paid for that surgery, I'm sure she'll only become more upset with me. I don't care how much she might now like you. There is no way she could be upset over you helping her son and us. She is not that irrational of a person. I hope she isn't. I'll try and believe what you're saying for now. Now, I, I have to get back to work here soon, so I'll talk to you later. Take good care of Luke for me. I will. Thank you again for everything, Everly. Hey, are you not even going to give me a chance to catch up with you? Do you not feel bad for Dylan at all? Especially when we are having to worry about money right now. I... I haven't been trying to avoid you or anything. And when it came to that money, it was never meant to be a way for me to pick on you guys. I was just paying for the surgery to take some pressure off your guys' backs, and didn't ask for him to pay it back to me in any way. But after just a week, he came to me with the money, asking that I take it, and so that's all I did. What are you going on about? You were pressuring him into giving you that money back, even though you're aware we don't have the money right now. I understand exactly what's been going on here. In order to start taking advantage of us, you went and paid for our son's surgery so that you have something to hold against us now. You really are such a toxic woman, Everly. Like a black widow with the way you spin your deadly web. Why do you think I'd be doing something like that to you? Do you really hate me that much? I was just paying for the surgery so that you guys wouldn't be stressed and so that Luke would be able to live. I even told Dylan that he didn't have to pay me back a single dime because this is what family does for one another. What the heck? Are you trying to make yourself look good now by saying you have money to spare? You really are such an annoyance for me. Wait, that's not at all what I meant there. I happen to worry about you guys because you're my family and I would never put any kind of a monetary value on you all. Luke was in trouble and needed to get that surgery. What family are you talking about? All you are is Dylan's little sister and nothing more. I hate seeing you thinking you're all that when really you're just some young, naive woman. 
You have no idea what you're talking about, do you? What did you want me to do then? Just leave you guys to struggle with paying for your son's surgery that he desperately needed? I don't understand why you don't like me so much and have to treat me this way. What is it about me you don't like? I hate everything about you, Everly. Especially that patronizing attitude of yours. I was never expecting anything in return from you guys, though, when I paid for the surgery. If you are so upset by me giving you guys money for that, then why are you always asking to borrow money from me when it's being used on things that aren't your son? Huh? I am doing my best right now to take care of Luke, so don't you dare tell me I'm borrowing money from you that's not being used on him. When I'm in need of money, it's because I need to care for him. I don't think so. But if that's what you think, then what's the matter with me giving Dylan the money you both needed to pay for those medical bills? The problem is that you are patronizing us by paying for our son's surgery and all that. You really plan on getting things in return from us just because you paid 30000 for a surgery? That's hilarious. 30000 worth of pocket change is nothing to us and only makes you look even more toxic. Don't you ever talk to any of us again, you freak. Then I really won't. Please, leave me and my family alone forever so that we can actually enjoy life without having to worry about you. But I would like you to give me all the money I lent you back, okay? If you don't, then I'll have to talk with Dylan about what to do with you. Huh? Are you trying to threaten me now? Right now, Dylan is having some of the worst days of his life. You really want to make his life a living hell or something now? I told you that's not at all what I want. Kylie, would you quit complaining about me just because you don't like the fact that I'm being kind? If you're going to say that I'm patronizing the both of you, then I would like that money I lent you back. Ugh, shut up already. Just leave me and my family alone. Do you understand? What the hell is going on with you? Hey, I have something to ask you, Everly. Luke is going to need another surgery. Therefore... We are going to need to pay even more money for him to get the work he needs done. Please, can you find some way to lend us a bit more money for it? Of course. I heard myself about how he's going to need another surgery. If there's anything else I can help you out with, please let me know. I really am so sorry to ask this again, but you helping us pay for it will be huge. Let me ask you this, though. Is your wife going to pay anything at all towards his surgery? Right. As of this moment, we are having some financial struggles. She is only able to pay for things like the house and food. Besides that, I've been on my own. I'm really sorry that I had to tell you this. But just know that I'll get whatever money you give me this time back to you. I promise. Sounds good. As long as this is all going towards Luke becoming a healthy and happy boy again, I don't mind lending more money. Will Kylie know anything about how you want to borrow more money from me? I haven't really said anything to her about it yet. But she has to understand, this is our only option as of right now. I think that Kylie is really thankful that you're my little sister. Our little sister, actually. I really don't think she thinks that about me at all. I think for a good reason that she thinks I'm trying to get money out of you guys. There's no way she's thinking that. You have been helping us out so much, and never asked for anything in return. I'm sure to her there are things she doesn't completely understand, and can act out a bit when we least expect it. But in her heart, I know she is thankful for you. Well, I'm no longer going to be around you guys that much, so how she feels about me doesn't matter. What? Wait, are you leaving us? I hope that's not what you meant by that. I'm thinking of selling that house, Dylan. After all, I don't have an unlimited amount of money on me. I have been thinking about this for some time now, and I think that I can sell the house and use that money for some other things. I see. That makes sense. I'll make sure to help you and Luke out by finding you guys a new house to live in as well. And I can help you with the costs of a new place as well. But there is one rule to all of this when I begin to make my move. One rule? I've been told by your wife every single day that she doesn't want me around anymore. For me to no longer have any relations to her. I really don't think she has the right to be saying something like that when she's the one that's living in my house at the moment. Wait, that's um... 
You feel that she's only saying things? I don't think so, Dylan. I can no longer take the way that woman behaves towards me. You guys happen to have Luke around, so I've just been trying to bear with things, but I can't do it anymore. Then, what's this one rule you have for us when we move out of this house? I will pay for this next round of surgery for Luke, like you've asked. And you don't have to pay me anything back for it either. But I ask that you please divorce that woman. Please. What? Wait, 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 wait. That's insane! If you don't leave her, then I'm no longer going to be able to help you out financially. I can't stand being connected to her in any way, Dylan. I never wanted things to come to this, and I hate having to ask such a horrible thing from you, but please understand where I'm coming from here. But, um, no matter how much she's been causing you trouble, divorcing her is asking too much. I see. Then how about you take a look at this? Hey, what the hell is going on here? What do you mean I have to get out of this house right now? I'm having the house sold soon. It is my house after all, so I have the right to decide whether to keep it or sell it. That's not the problem. The problem is you not asking me if I allowed that before making the decision. Do you think I'm really okay with something like that? Especially during a time when we have to deal with Luke's second surgery. That's the thing though, I don't have all that much money and his surgery costs a lot more money than one should have to be paying. If I don't have the house sold, then there won't be enough money to pay for him to get the surgery he needs. Luke is already in the hospital having to undergo more treatments, so while he's there, I think it's the perfect time to move out of the house. That's why you need to start getting yourself ready to leave. Pack your things up and let's go. I will not allow this. Does Dylan know what you're doing right now? Of course he does. Ah, here's another thing. There are some divorce papers in the living room filled out for you, so all you have to do is sign them before you go. What? If you want more details on that, then please speak with your husband about it. Make sure all your things are packed up by the end of the day as well, and that you are out of there. Tomorrow, there will be some professional cleaners coming, as well as a realtor to inspect the place. Huh? Wait a second. <coughs> Dylan, where the hell are you right now? Where am I? I'm with my sister right now, as we sit at Luke's bedside. He is going in for surgery pretty soon here, so we have to be here while he's going under for the operation. Hey, that freaking idiot sister of yours is asking me to get out of this house right now. Also, she's telling me to sign some divorce papers for her? What the actual hell is all of this about? Right. All of that is exactly what it seems, Kylie. I want you out of that house by the end of the day. You can do that, right? Huh? I have no idea what this is all about, though. What the hell are you going on about? You and I are done with. I want a divorce. And you know the reason for why I want one, right? I already know everything. So you'd better start confessing with the true story before things get too out of hand. Now... Tell me what the reason for this is. What? What reason am I supposed to know about? There's no reason we should be getting a divorce, period. I'm not sure what all you've been told, but that's all a lie and just crap to try and get you to distrust me. Kylie, you've been borrowing money from Everly this whole time, right? Wait, what? I've just been doing that because of you and the fact that we don't have the money right now to pay off everything. You're never even at the house most of the time, though, so how would you know what that money's going towards? I guess I have been out of the house quite often for things like Luke and that. And before his first surgery, I had been going to work all the time. And then after I left my job, I left you in charge of all the household bills and things like that. So, I'm sorry there. But was all that money you kept borrowing from Everly really for the household costs? Um, of course it was. Of course there was a little bit of that money that went into me refreshing myself. Refreshing yourself? Huh. What exactly were you doing to refresh yourself? Why do you have to know all the details on that? I just went out for some drinks sometimes. Is that really such a bad thing for a working wife and mother to be doing? You make it seem like you only went out to drink once a couple of weeks. But what about when you go three times a week? What? How? Everly ended up seeing you by coincidence downtown one day. 
you were heading into a male strip club down there, dressed in what some would call pretty exposing clothing. Wh and that day so happened to be the same day that you had Everly hand you some more money. Everly was interested in what was really going on there, and so she went to one of the male strippers that came out there later and asked them what was going on with you. He told her you went there regularly to get wasted and have men entertain you, at least three times a week. No, wait, that's... He must have mistaken me for someone else then, right? I'm not trying to make an argument out of this. You already know that this means divorce, and there is no room for discussion on that. Get out of that house now, Kylie. I'm on the verge of coming over there and kicking you out myself right now. While Luke has been going through hell due to his illness, you left us to go and have some other men feel you up. But I had no other choice. I was so lonely and have been the whole time. You were never home to be around me and any time you did come home it was only to talk with Everly. This is during the time when our son has been in and out of the hospital due to an illness that's killing him. And you're going to complain about feeling lonely that whole time? Well, I mean, you never even paid any attention to me, and then you both decided later to have us all living in the same house together. I never wanted her living in the same house as us. I just wanted it to be us three where you'd always come home to see me. Are you kidding me right now? Things have been tough for everyone this whole time financially, while our son has been battling for his life. You want to know why we ended up living with my sister in the end? Because we couldn't pay for our apartment's rent anymore. There was no other option for us, whether you liked it or not. And the same goes for me being out of the house all the time. Are you trying to say to me right now that your feelings are more important than our own son's health? Shut the hell up. You have no idea how hard things have been for me this whole time. That's probably right. I wouldn't ever be able to understand how a woman who leaves her sick son to take her sister-in-law's money, and to go out to have other guys on her, feels. I really have no clue how you feel. But it's not like you care about how anyone else besides yourself feels, so I think we're even. Fine. I get that the way I handled things wasn't all correct. I'll apologize for what I've done, as long as you forgive me. <laughs> no way that's happening anymore. It's not like you've actually learned anything from your actions. I have learned, though. I'm serious. Well, if that's true, then you must know you have to apologize to someone else as well. Right? You should know all the wrongs you have done, and should be able to take responsibility for all of them. Right? Uh... <laughs> hey, Everly. Uh, sorry about everything. Sorry about everything? What everything are you referring to exactly? Well, um, about all of that money I've borrowed from you and about saying a few rude things about you. A few. Do you mean a lot of rude things there? Also, I'm not worried about the money I handed to you. The real problem is the way you used that money I let you borrow, right? I am so sorry for lying to you and using that money to go out and have some fun. Is that enough for you now? Hold on, it looks like you're starting to get annoyed with me again. If you haven't learned anything from what you've done yet, then don't come trying to apologize to me. What? This is all because you went and started to blab to Dylan about things you weren't supposed to know about. So that's how you're really feeling right now? You're going to blame me because I told on you? I cannot believe you, Kylie. Seriously, are you like six years old or something? Wait, hold on. I I'm sorry about that. I'm just getting a bit antsy over here is all. I will give you all that money you lent me back, so would you please forgive me already? You sure will be giving me that money you borrowed back. But whether I forgive you or not will be discussed another day, right? Please, I'm already being kicked out and will have no place to go. Also, I happen to really love Luke a lot. I don't want to see him go. What the hell are you talking about, Kylie? You don't love Luke. If you did, then you would have gone to see him when he was in the hospital. Don't start lying to me again just because you're afraid of being alone. I get what you're all about. So once you give me every cent I'm owed back, then I'll think about what to do with you. Really? Oh, thank you so much, Kylie. 
But for right now, I want you to sign that divorce paperwork and get out of my house. You'll be able to do that for me, right? All right, all right, all right. I'll bring the papers to the hospital for you guys right now. You're still there with Dylan, right? Excuse me? What are you talking about now? Are you telling me that you have the money I need back ready for me right now? Uh, wait. That's not at all what I meant by that. But that's what you're implying, right? You just told me you're coming and bringing the papers with you right now. That should also mean you're bringing me my money, right? Which in that case means you actually have the money right now to pay me back. Hey, I have a right to carry a little extra money on me at all times. Who knows what kind of emergencies there could be, and if I need to pay you back in order to come see you both, then that's the emergency I've been saving for. I've had this money saved up forever from the money I've been earning while I work. There shouldn't be any complaints about that, right? For crying out loud, uh, there's no use. Um, hey, honestly, just screw off. I don't need that money back. The fact that there are people like you in this world is probably why people get murdered all the time by their significant other. All right already, I'll pay you back double the amount I took from you. You won't have any complaints about that then, right? I can't even begin to fathom how a person like you made it this far with Dylan. I understand that he's a calm and understanding guy, but he has limits too. I don't want to talk with you anymore, Kelly. Just, just get the hell out of my house before I have the police go and remove you. Hold on a second, I'm going to give you back all the money, so why can't I come see you already? I'm going to the hospital right now, so just wait for me. There's no point in coming here, just freaking stop. Shut up and wait for me, gosh dang it! <laughs> hey! You told the front desk not to let me come in there, right? Tell me what room you guys are in right now! Hurry! What? Why the hell are you here? I told you to stay away because it's over for you! Just stop trying already and go away! And it's not like the front desk is stopping you anyway. You're Luke's mother, so they can't stop you from going in to see him. Huh? Then why are they not telling me what room he's in right now? I keep asking and asking them to tell me, but they keep saying there's no patient here right now that goes by that name. You told them to keep me away, right? You really are a freaking toxic witch. Um, first of all, when you said you were coming here, you arrived way sooner than you should have been able to. Do you even know what hospital you're at right now? Huh? At Washington State Hospital. Luke is having to get surgery done at a specialist clinic right now, so he isn't at that hospital. You should know that he's been here this whole time and was moved out of that hospital weeks ago. What? Uh, is that right? I must have forgotten all about that. Can you tell me the name of that clinic again for me so that I can come there? So you couldn't even be asked to remember the name of the clinic your son is getting surgery in right now? How depressing. Um, I'm only going to ask this one time. Could you please go the hell away? I told you, I just forgot about that place is all. Now tell me the name of the freaking place. No, you're like a cancer to my family. This might be the first time your son will be cancer free from two different types. <laughs> After that, Kylie ran all over town looking for the clinic that we all were at with Luke, but she was never able to find the place. The thing is, the clinic was in a completely different city, so there was no way of her getting to us. She could have just asked the doctor at the hospital she was at where Luke was transferred to, but she was in too much of a rush to think of that. And to make matters worse for herself, as she was running all over, she accidentally dropped the envelope that had the money for me. She was probably spending the rest of her time looking for where it went instead of for this clinic. That right there just proves what is more important to that woman, and unfortunately, it's not her own son. The next day, a lot of things happened, but the divorce of my brother from that witch went through. Of course, when she met with him and his lawyer to talk about things, she didn't act at all like she had learned any lessons. So after everything was finalized and custody of Luke went only to Dylan, I took the both of them and we left town to move to another state. From rumors I've heard after we left town, Kylie is living on the streets, moving from town to town, looking for where we all went. How depressing of a life to live. I am so happy that I took my brother and nephew and got as far as we could away from that monster. <laughs> Today, the three of us are living on a brand new property in a small house. 
Dylan was able to find himself a new job here working for a chemical company, and I've been working remotely at home while helping watch over Luke. Luke has always been a strong fighter and was able to overcome the cancer he had after that second surgery. He's even getting well enough now that we're going to start sending him to kindergarten, and I'm sure that being around other kids again will help him feel as though Kylie wasn't a part of his life in the first place. Watching Luke fight his way through all of that at such a young age, I could learn a thing or two and put that all into my own life. From here on out, I'm going to fight even harder for him, as well as for my brother, so that we can all forget about the monster that was Kylie.